Hi students, welcome back to our classroom. Our first chapter, Sensation and Response. In the last day, we discussed about sense organs and its function. Now, look at the board. I have written four words. Stimuli, Receptor, Impulse, Response. Once again, Stimuli, Receptor, Impulse, Response. First one, Stimuli. If the direction of the plan movement take place in accordance with stimuli, it is called tropic movement. Once again, if the direction of the plan movement take place in accordance with light, it is called phototropism. These we have learned last year. For the growth of the plant, it needs light, chemicals, water, all these things. So the definition for stimuli is the senses that evoke responses in an organism are called stimuli. Look at the picture. Here, the boy makes a sound. Hearing the sound, the parrot flew away. Here, the stimuli is the sound. While listening the sound, the parrot, the response is, it flew away. Once again, the senses that evoke responses in an organisms are called stimuli. Second one is the receptor. The sense organs such as eyes, ear, nose, tongue, skin have special type of receptors. Eye has a special type of receptors in the retina. Tongue contains receptors such as sour, bitter, salt and sugar. These tastes can be identified from the tongue. Not only in the sense organs, in other parts of the body also, there contains different types of receptors, such as we can recognize pain, hot, cold, touch. So the receptors are specialized cells in the sense organs and other parts of the body to receive stimuli are called receptor. For example, look at the baby. He is eating a tamarind. When the tamarind touches the tongue, the messages through the impulse, it reaches the brain. It is the brain who responds to it like this. Look at the expressions of that baby. Got it? That means the cell contains special type of receptor which will receive the stimuli and these stimuli give rise to response. And these responses reaches the brain through the impulse. And electric impulses reaches the brain. Stimulus are classified into two. Internal stimuli and external stimuli. The stimulus that take place inside our body is called the internal stimuli. Example, hunger, thirst. Another one is the external stimulus. The stimulus that take place outside the body is called the external stimulus. Example, pain, hot, cold, etc. I think you understand these four things. Stimulus, receptor, impulse, response. The cell contains specialized receptor which will receive stimuli and undergoes response with the help of the impulse. Got it? All these activities are controlled by the nervous system. So nervous system means it controls and coordinates all the life activities. The nervous systems are classified into brain, spinal cord and nerves. Next class we will learn the structure and function of the neuron. Only this much for today. Before winding I will give you some question. You have to write the answer in the notebook. The questions are 
what do you mean by stimuli what are the different types of stimuli second question what do you mean by receptor thanks for watching this video see you next time bye